Okay, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up multiple Bluetooth receivers and connect it to your phone, either an iPhone or an Android. So using both operating systems. Let's connect it and see what happens. So here we go, you see it's flashing different colors. It's flashing blue, red, green. That means it's trying to pair with a device. So we'll go to the Play Store and we search D-U-O-C-O -O space strip. Search for it and install it. Once it's installed, open it. It's going to ask you to access this device's location, allow it, and it's also going to require the Bluetooth. So turn it on. I've got location and Bluetooth on. So now you want to check on activity by pressing these three lines and it's going to show up your devices. So here is the device. I believe it's this one. So to check if it is this one, just tap off. See? That turned it off. So that means it's connected. Turn it back on. And it's just cycling still because we haven't changed any lighting or any color. So just to make it into a solid blue, for example, tap on blue. Okay, that's not appearing blue, is it? It's appearing green. Let's try green. It's appearing blue. So clearly, these two have not been assigned correctly. So what we can do is tap on the cog and click on modify pin sequence. This is only for default connection methods. The way I wire it on this, for example, I wired it correctly so you don't have to reassign these. So we have the green and blue flipped. So we need to look at this and it goes ground and then green, red, blue. So that's ground, green, red, blue. So red is red. So green needs to be blue, red, green and then tap on this and there we go, reassign this. So now if we tap on blue, nope, I've done it wrong. So green is correct, red and blue needs changing. Modify pin sequence, red, green. So yeah, this needs to be red, this needs to be blue. Tap on it and let's check it. Green, red, blue. There we go, now it's all correct. But as I say, you won't need to do it on this because this is already wired correctly. Let's just unplug this. We don't need this anymore. The reason I have this is because once it's paired, you can't really unpair it. You can pair it to a different phone, but it won't cycle through the colors to indicate that it's not connected to anything. We can actually connect this to one battery and it will work. Obviously, it will drain much quicker. So this is why I have two batteries. Go back to my devices. And now you see we have three because the old one is still there. To actually get rid of it, we just restart the phone. So this we have the two new devices, the top and the middle one. Now let's just try to see what happens if we change it to blue, for example. It changed them both. Let's change the intensity as well. If we want to change just one of them, tap on the top left corner three lines. And we just tap on the chain, which means we will not be adjusting it. So let's tap on red now. See, we have one color. And now if we want to change the up one, unchain the middle one and then chain the top one. And then you can change the other color now. Simple as that. Very, very useful. You can also cycle through different styles. So see, it has strobe, blue strobe, and then there's nice gradual changes. It's very cool stuff. It's actually very straightforward once you understand what you're doing. So say we have a different device, uh, an iPhone for example, uh, it's currently connected to the Android. We can connect it to the iPhone by first closing the app on the Android, clear all, and then go to your App Store, search D-U-O-C-O -O strip, install it, open it up once it's installed. Would you like to make data available to nearby Bluetooth devices even when you're not using the app? Okay and then turn on Bluetooth to allow the Oco strip to connect to accessories. Tap on OK. Now this doesn't actually turn the Bluetooth on, so you need to go into settings and enable the Bluetooth. Now go back to the app, the Oco strip, check your devices, and they're right there already. So we can start adjusting. Now let's see what happens if we use uh, two devices to control one Bluetooth receiver. This is an Android and this is an iPhone. So let's check the devices. Both. This isn't connected at the moment, so it looks like you can only connect to one. Check my devices. 
still shows up here. Doesn't show up here. Let's kill the app. As soon as we kill the app, it shows up here. here. There we go. Straight away it appears here. Very straightforward. It's a great piece of tech. I love it. Now here's something interesting. Now if you see when we go to the blue, you won't see it show up. You can see it on green and red mostly. The reason is, is when the battery starts getting low, the blue is the first one to not show up properly because it uses the most voltage. Same with the green. You can see the green is very, very dim at the moment, but the red is fine. It's because they use more or less voltage depending on the color. So this is a sign that we need to change the battery. The batteries don't actually last very long. They last around an hour to an hour and a half, um, especially if you have it on max brightness. To be honest, it's actually not very ideal to have the brightness on max because, for example, as you can see by this camera, you can't even see it as a true color. You see it just almost white. So it's actually more ideal to have it very low to, so you can actually make out what color it's showing. So this is around uh, half an hour in. Now if we toggle to different lights, different colors, blue, you'll see that this barely shines at all. There's a bit of shine, very minimal. You can see that slightly, but it's very, very minimal. Now if we toggle it to green, you can see it much better. Toggle to red, red is very bright. But blue barely shows up it's because it uses more voltage. It's so very, very dim. So it doesn't last very long, around an hour. Well, it drained it much quicker because I was on white. And if I turn it to white now, you can only really see red. So it won't last very long. 